Hello everyone, I am Dr. Wen Teng Li. Today I will demonstrate how to complete a kidney ultrasound in 5 minutes. First, please have the patient lie flat, place their hands above their head, and slightly lower the front of their pants to allow the ultrasound probe to examine the bladder. The first step is to examine the bladder, which is usually the quickest step to complete in most cases. Be sure to observe both longitudinally and transversely. If you see the prostate or uterus, you can mark and measure them separately. Afterward, you can wipe off any excess ultrasound gel to prevent it from sticking to the patient's clothing during subsequent movements. If the patient is female, it is recommended to hand her tissue or paper towels to wipe herself for privacy and comfort. The second step is to place the probe on the right front side of the patient. The probe should be angled from the left outside to the right inside, trying to find and maintain the longest longitudinal axis of the kidney. Then, slightly move the probe in the same plane to observe if there are any significant abnormalities in the surrounding kidney tissue. For the third step, ask the patient to lie on their side facing the wall or away from the examiner. The patient should be lying at a 90 degree angle, and place the probe on the patient's side, following the same procedure as in the second step. The kidney is a three-dimensional organ that hangs in the abdominal cavity. Therefore, it is necessary to complete the views from the front, side, and back. Generally, one side of the patient's kidney is usually clearer in one to two views, and it is rare for all three views to be clear simultaneously. Next, ask the patient to lie prone, with their hands in front of them hugging a pillow, and their head resting to one side. At this point, the fourth and fifth steps involve completing the views of the right rear side and left rear side, respectively. The probe direction for the fourth and fifth steps is exactly opposite, but both are placed from inside up to outside down. Additionally, because the left kidney is positioned higher, it may sometimes be necessary to ask the patient to take a deep breath, so that the diaphragm pushes the left kidney under the left floating rib, bringing it into the ultrasound detection range. Of course, if the patient has end-stage kidney disease and the kidneys are significantly atrophied, it may not be necessary to insist on perfect views in every field, as long as one to two views can be clearly measured. For the sixth step, ask the patient to lie on their side facing the examiner. The patient should again be lying at a 90 degree angle, and place the probe on the patient's side to conduct the examination. One thing to note is that the patient's left kidney is usually located at the back of the abdominal cavity. So the probe placement often needs to be closer to the back rather than simply placing it in the center of the left side. If it is difficult to extend your arm over, you can directly sit on the examination bed to better extend your arm and avoid injury from poor posture. The seventh step is also the final step of the examination procedure. Ask the patient to return to a supine position, and angle the probe from the left outside to the right inside. As in the sixth step, the probe needs to be placed in a more posterior position to observe clearly. After completing the above steps, assist the patient in wiping off any excess ultrasound gel, guide the patient to dress themselves, and leave the examination room. I am Dr. Wen Teng Li, see you next time, 